guys walking in the room if you look close that is a two tech cl1b right there on the table that's crazy without a reasonable doubt jay-z has been one of our coaches legendary goats you see what i did there but what is behind that sound today we have three well-documented jay-z signature vocal chains that he used throughout his career and one of them is a whopping fifty thousand dollars what's up welcome back to my channel and Welcome back to my home studio. I am Archie Beats and Jay-Z is undeniable. One of our legendary goats. We've already discussed that. And before we get started, I have a surprise for you. I am actually talking on one of Jay-Z's signature vocal chains right here, but we have a software emulated version of that with the exception of this microphone right here. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any updates. And as we go through these vocal chains, I'm going to explain to you guys why they probably pick these microphones preamps compressors because they all have different characteristics and remember if you stick around we have our ritual of giving you guys more affordable options and the affordable options are really good the first vocal chain is the legendary jay-z vocal chain the one that made us like okay that guy can go this is that dude right here this is that guy this vocal chain is verified and was specifically used by jay-z's engineer young guru and this fifty thousand dollar vocal chain begins with the norman u 87 right here this was my dream mic for a very long time until jay-z switched to another mic and beyonce switched to it and everybody in the industry switched to this microphone i'm like what the heck is that and we're going to talk about that later because that's one of his vocal chains as well the norman u87 comes in at a whopping 36.99 and i was very proud to invest in this microphone because like i said it sounds great and i think they specifically chose this because jay-z lyrics are very solid he's not trying to do any tongue twisting he's not trying to go fast and i like the i am a pentameter sometimes he does it when he first started out before everything he was doing it a lot but jay-z is a lyricist that really liked to he wants you to hear those lines and he articulate them and the norman u87 is a fet style microphone that captures those articulation and also it has a nice 10k bump right there so whenever you're pronouncing anything in a record or a song that 10k actually put that little sizzle right up top and it brings out that articulation and they went from the u87 to the legendary avalon 737 which is 3800 dollars 3899.3900 however you want to round it up and that is really crazy so we got a 3600 norman u87 a 3800 3900 avalon and here comes the crazy part and then young guru went into the legendary ssl 4000 g now i'm pretty sure they were just using the circuitry because they had pretty good things right there at the front end and the pre-stages of going to the doll young guru also mentioned that he could operate the ssl blindfolded now i'm going to tell you guys the first console that i've ever recorded an entire project on and with was the ssl 4000g it previously belonged to metallica uh, when i was in school our 10th cycle proficiency i had to track each individual student had to track an entire song um, and project through the ssl individual instruments we had to mic everything up and i love that console the ssl is definitely my favorite analog console and so i totally understand why they use this signal flow an ssl used to range from two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to a million dollars for that one console now you can get it on sale for forty two thousand hints now this is a fifty thousand dollar vocal chain because it could easily be two hundred thousand plus or a million dollar vocal chain but we're not hurting anybody today thumbs up if you like that vocal chain as i stated in the beginning of the video we are actually talking through one of jay-z's signature vocal chains here but we are using uad software it's going from my norman u87 and to my console software and what we have here on the channel strip is right here on the unison we have the avalon 737 and i just have a general pre preset set here and the general preset is actually mike larson which is vocal tracking and as you can see it's very simple i did crank down the preamp gain right here we went out of that and to our insert they didn't have a 4000g available universal audio with the 4000g yet i'm looking for it i have the ssl e-series and i have that channel strip on the inserts right here so we are getting that sound right now or something close to it it's probably not exactly it but this is only a tenth around five thousand dollars 
because the microphone itself is $3,600. The Apollo Twin is around $899 and the software, they're around a hundred bucks a piece. Um, Universal Audio always give great sales. So that's how we ended up with being under $5,000 with this setup. The next vocal chain is a very interesting one. Actually, you can see it while they were working in the studio, the Magna Carta, you see um, Rick Rubin, they're going in in here. And if you look at this microphone here, that is a Norman M49V. It is a very distinctive tube Norman microphone. And that microphone is sitting easily at $8,500. As the camera guy is walking in the room, if you look close, that is a Tube Tech CL1B right there on the table. That's crazy. It's literally sitting down the table. They move around with this thing a lot. That's a really cool setup. I don't know what audio interface they're recording on. I didn't quite catch it. $8,000 microphone and then the Tube Tech. I don't know what preamp they're using, but I do know that the CL1B unlike the Avalon 737 is just a compressor, but it's, it's a, an amazing optical compressor for sure. And remember you have options with the classic analog microphones, the mic modeling microphones that are out there such as the Antelope Axino, which I do have and I'm telling you it sounds great. And some of my subscribers are mentioning the Townsend Spear. I haven't quite tested it yet and I don't normally recommend things that I haven't tested, but everybody's raving about it. So I can't wait to get my hands on it and we'll see if the mic modeling is everything is where it is. But I take you guys where for you guys make some great music out there. I'm telling you, I've heard some of my subscribers music and you guys are doing it. I really appreciate it. We just covered Magna Carta, Holy Grail. Now we're going to cover the Holy Matrimony, which Jay-Z and Beyonce used together. They use this exact vocal chain for both artists, for Jay-Z and Beyonce. And it started with the Telefunken ELAM 251, which you all know that is my, that's my microphone right there. I love that microphone so much. I'm going to go and buy one. I'm about to, to go and buy it. I have 70 microphones in my home studio and I will trade half of them for the Telefunken ELAM 251 easily. They went out of that, the Telefunken 251 into the Avalon 737. But here's the most impressive part. They bypassed the compressor. They didn't use the compressor. They went from there to the Tube Tech compressor, the CL1B. And this is one that Beyonce uses all the time. And this information is verified by Stuart White, the producer of Everything is Love. And the producer Stuart White also previously used the Telefunken ELAM 251 on Beyonce's vocals for Lemonade. Um, the entire album. He chose to keep it simple. So it, we have the Telefunken microphone, the Avalon mic pre, just the Avalon, just the pre of the Avalon, the 737, and then directly into the Tube Tech compressor, the CL1B. And these were the vocals for that entire album, Everything is Love. You guys have any questions, be sure to comment them below. I really do appreciate y'all. You guys are really enjoying these videos and I'm enjoying making them for you all. It means a lot to me to see so many people reach thousands of people every day with these videos it's definitely a privilege and it's an honor that i don't take for granted so thank you all for all of that don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates and also don't forget to be great and creative if you have any questions be sure to comment them below i am your host archie beats and i'm signing off